Tonight, you may hate going to the dentist every six months for that routine cleaning, but what is it like at the other side of that dreaded chair? We'll find out in a day in the life of a dentist. Then we get creative with Nima Muhimanchi Art, an after-school art workshop program getting kids in one of Accra's most famous slums, Nima, of the streets and tapping into their inner Da Vinci. Hate math? Well, even if you do, you're going to love who we show you today. Electrical engineer Joel Dogo, who realized the need to encourage the study of maths and science in the country, will show you exactly how he's doing it. Here are your hosts, Crystal Jean and Sarah Mkitini. Welcome to the Be Bold Show. Mm -hmm. It's another new and exciting exciting day and we have a lot in store for you do you remember this hamper here lane organics and the 999th winner will be announced today on this show so wait for it wait for it it's going to come to you in a few moments now the website www.thebeboldshow.com when was the last time that you went on there if you haven't been on there, you need to get on there right now. Kastera, what can you do on it? Well, you can check up on what's been happening. If you've missed any episodes, you can find them on there. You can also go and read all the blog entries of all our young entrepreneurs and other social people that are just wanting to share their experiences with us of what it means to come back to Ghana or Africa in general. There's so much happening, a lot of interaction, so please go there. Also check our Twitter at at Be Bold Show. You can always follow us, give us your comments. If you see something you like, if you see something you don't like, just let us know. Yes. I hope you like our outfits we're wearing today. Yeah. Christy Brown oh, sponsored. Yes. The entire <laughs> season has been a Christy Brown season. So definitely thank you so much, Christy Brown, for doing these wonderful designs for us. Now guys, as promised, something very new and different. Neo Tab. Now what does that sound like to you? Is it something technological is it something i don't know we'll leave that to for you to find out more about it but i'll just give you a little hint something very similar to the ipad oh yeah i've given a lot away let's take a look at neo tab okay so this is a neo tab this is a tablet that ramsey and i have come together to sort of design and make basically what we think is that because the world of technology is moving so fast and you have people on iPads and cell phones and whatnot. Elam Klogo and Ramzi Amusa started working on Neotab out of boredom. They live together in the US where Elam studies psychology and Ramzi attends biology and business classes. They are real technology buffs with their apartment being completely decked out with the latest technological gadgets. But what exactly is the Neotab? And how did they come up with the idea? Tell us a bit more. How did you come up with the idea of a Neotap? So we basically came up with the idea through, um, mostly through uh, Elon Klogo. Um, Elon just had the idea to uh, make a, a tablet for um, the um, a market here in Africa. And then I um, have helped out with the idea of maybe to get a more affordable tablet for, for people so every, everyone can have access to it. So the main aim of our company was to make technology accessible to people here in Africa. Well, let's hear from Elom exactly what the Neotab is before we get right back to Ramsey with more. Well, Neotab started, to be honest, out of boredom. I come back from school one day and um, I saw how well a lot of people were doing with Heal the World, Take Away GH and all of his hobbies and things like that. So. Um, I decided to talk to my father, who gave me permission to talk to a couple of manufacturers in China. And I decided to pull Ramsey into it because um, in terms of um, reaching out and getting to um, like the face aspect of being a company person, well, what it is, is to be, it's to help productivity in the country. Right now, in terms of like books and things like that, I mean, we don't have a problem getting them, but like for example, everything my father's ever bought me, he told me was an investment. My first laptop was an investment because I would take it apart and you know try and figure out how the pieces work and then try and put it back together. If I couldn't, it would break, he would get upset, but again, he would buy me a new one because I'm learning. So the aspect of the technology that we're bringing in is to help people learn, to help people become more and more 
um, computer literate. Like my sister is nine years old and she knows how to work a laptop better than me when I was ten. So the rate of learning that you can get when you have technology in your hands is a whole lot quicker because you can pull up information like that instead of having to go find a book or having to go ask someone for it. You can just have it in your palm of your hand really, really quickly. Um, multitasking, time management, um, waking up in the morning, those are the main ones. And also trying to convince people older than us to take us very seriously. This Neotab idea is fantastic. I mean, you have one right here, if I can just look at that. And it just really reminds me of an iPad as well. How do you differentiate yourself from all of these Samsung um, iPads and, you know, all the other technology things out there? Um, and basically, we are not um, trying to um, create any new technology out there. Our main aim is to make that technology more accessible to people. So, and in, in, um, order not, in order um, not to infringe on any um, patent um, rules out there or, or any copyrights, laws, or any trademarks, we um, created our tablet and we took it through the same process which Apple took their iPad, which Samsung took their, their Galaxy, which Kindle took their Fire through to make sure that we are not infringing on any, on any of the patents. And then it um, passed the, the, all the laws in the United States. So we are, we are not trying to um, um, basically copy out what's there. What was the starting capital to do something like that? What was that like? Um, the starting um, capital was, was basically um, starting on our own, um, using the uh, money that we um, had for food. We would rather use it for the um, company. So we went through a stage where we were like, sacrificing and, and putting our, our um, life right on the line because basically we, we, we didn't have money to eat or, or uh, money to enjoy the other, the other stuff we used to enjoy because we were trying to build a company. Um, for um, Neotab, yeah, um, Neotab has, has probably taken um, over our lives right now but then we um, also have our um, social lives out there too because you um, need that, 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 that balance. If you're moving into one direction, it, it, it just keeps you, it, it keeps you static, you understand? You need to have that dynamic um, nature about yourself basically. Who is your target market? Um, our target market is anyone and everyone, basically, and people that want access to technology and, and then cannot um, afford the um, ones out there with very high prices, so that, that is our main aim. Our main aim is not only to reduce the price, but also give people the um, quality product that everyone else has out there, so basically give them the, it's a cheaper product, but, but still um, keep the um, quality out there. How do you plan on doing this? Um, currently, our um, tablets are um, being being produced in, in China, um, as all all um, the, um, other um, tablets are they are being produced. Uh, the um, iPads are also being produced in China because um, labor there is cheap. But then for us, it's it's not just about um, making profits for our company. It's also about helping our people out. So in, in the beginning, us uh, our company is growing. We are still going to produce it in China, and as we grow and then we become stable, then we are um, going to um, send off some some uh, local people to be trained and then open up our own factory here and then start producing the tablets locally so we can uh, like produce jobs for, for people who are going to create them, who are going to distribute and, and all sorts of things. Uh, that's our main aim. And the main reason is to just um, um, give back to our people. The, the, the kinds of opportunities we've got, it's not everyone that has, got, has, has, has gotten the opportunity. So it's basically for us to come back and give to our people because um, Ghana, is, Ghana and Africa in general is, is suffering from serious brain drain where, where people go out to America, they go out to Europe, they go, they go out to Asia and they go study and then they stay there and they, they don't come back. And we, which is really a, like, it, it, it isn't something that's going to move our country forward. So we want to give back to our people. And then another reason is that the markets out there are already saturated with all these tablets. So why would you go in and try and then fight with them while you can come and help your people back at home here? How is the new tab going to be, you know, um, a student electronic? Okay. Um, out there in, in the States now and everywhere else, um, students are moving towards ebooks more. Um, for many reasons, ebooks are cheaper and they're um, easier to carry around because you can carry three or four books on one device. So we are um, also trying to move towards that basically. So we are going to encourage the um, local uh, authors to move their books from physical print to ebooks. And then people might ask, how are we going to do that? That is, is no problem at all. The uh, physical books out there already will just be um, changed into ebooks. And then will be um, put out um, out on the um, store out there, the online store, and then they, they can purchase the books the same way. And then someone might ask, um, is this safe to give a student a tablet while it's in class? Wouldn't the person go on Facebook? Wouldn't the person be browsing around or messing around with the tablet? That's no problem at all because we have very 
good um, software and developers who could possibly create like a, a software um, that um, that would block um, access to those things for a certain period of time. So then they would just focus on, on their schoolwork, basically. Yes. Can you just take me through the process from the day the idea dropped in you guys uh, on your lap or in your mind to where we are now? What were some of the steps? Some of the, the steps were actually very like unplanned steps. But then in the beginning, we basically um, made some uh, contact with some, some companies who might, might be who had the capacity to produce what we wanted. And then we, we, we sat down, we did several drawings, several design phases, what we wanted in it, how we wanted it to look and all that. We sent it off to them. And then finally we um, um, got some um, prototypes in. And then in the start we used them ourselves to see whether they were like good enough for, for our, our people. And then yes, we were very, very pleased with what we got in, in terms of the, the build, like the quality of it all, the, the camera, the screen and all that. And then moving from that, we um, actually um, um, left um, some of the um, tablets in our home for, for people to experience them. But, but then the thing is that the idea was still between Elom and I. No one knew what we were doing. So we helped people come over, use the tablets, and then they wouldn't say anything about it. And then we, we, we um, liked the fact that people used it without knowing that they were ours, because then we'll, we'll get unbiased feedback from them. And then the, the day we decided to uh, make that a uh, video and then uh, put up for everyone to know that this is what we are doing, I got several calls from friends like, oh, the tablet I used was yours. Oh, that's fantastic because I had no idea. I thought it was one of the Samsung tablets or one of the iPads that they had made. And it was it, it was a lovely feedback um, to us because then we had realized that what we were doing was, was we we're moving in the right direction, basically. The biggest challenge we face probably is in working from the States to trying to produce, to trying to launch something here in Ghana. But then as, as time has gone on, we've had people helping us because with this kind of thing, it's, it's, it's a huge project. So always having people help is, is, is a great thing. And having people who are ready to help us. So that, that's what, what one of the, the challenges that we've had just um, working from Ghana here. Because like as we, we're not too advanced in technology, so if you're working someone back and forth with email, it's, 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 it, it gets a bit complicated sometimes, yes. All right, so, you know, this is the point where I actually want you to show me more about what this Neotab does. Um, this is a, a prototype. So that's the reason why we don't have our logo at the back there, because we are, we are still working on it to produce a final product. But then my probably favorite application that I have here on the tablet will be... Um, which one would I select? I mean, now there's a, a big buzz about it, um, Instagram. And everyone will be like crazy to know that Instagram can be on this tablet because people always like like taking pictures, putting their pictures up, and then exactly yeah. So then all I have to do is I'm logging and I'm, I'm right on Instagram, and then and with our front-facing camera, you, you can take all the pictures you want to take and then put them right up on Instagram. And then uh, apart from Instagram, I might uh, also um, love the fact that we have the um, documents on the go where you can have your PowerPoint presentations on there, you can have your Excel spreadsheets, your Word documents. So for instance, I, I want to um, pre present a PowerPoint, and then you, like there are ways that we can link our tablet to wherever, to the, the, uh, the uh, projector wirelessly, and then you present right off your tablet, so you, there's no need to carry your, your bulky laptop around anymore, you just present straight from your new tab. Yes. Excellent. So my last question then to you would be, like, what, what's your advice to young people out there who hope to one day start their own tablet or go into this technology business? My advice is just take that bold step. Take the step. Some some people come up with the idea like, and then they start thinking, oh, how am I going to fund this? How am I going to do this? Will it work? Do not think too deep. It isn't that deep. All the, the people that have made it out there just have fun with what they do. And we, we, we it's, it's our passion. Just do exactly what you're passionate about and go on with it. Don't think about what, what anyone thinks of you because... As you move on, you're always going to get enemies, people that want to pull you down. But then just go up the ladder and that's it basically, that's what I say. So these guys are actually not here in Ghana. They are Ghanaians, but they're not here. And they develop this wonderful, I mean, yeah. innovation. It's What do you think of that? When I saw it, I was like, you know what, forget the iPad. We can make this ourselves. We yeah. can, you know, have our own new we tab. Have, we have technological gurus here yeah. definitely like brilliant minds sitting there definitely. while we're sitting here thinking about the talk show and what's <laughs> next they're there thinking Come about the, the new invention how yeah. to go about it's fantastic they're like the new steve jobs of of africa yeah that's what i'd call yeah. them <laughs> all right still more to come after the break stick around and see what it's like to fix teeth in a day in the life of a dentist then we meet Joel Dogo, an electrical engineer who wants kids to love math and science. 
how he is inspiring them to do so right after the break. 